Today, we will learn about unitary method. Many situations arise in our daily life where we know the value of few things and with the help of this, we find the value of as many things as we want. In this situation, we apply the unitary method. For example, if we know the value of one dozen bananas, then we can find the value of half a dozen, that is six bananas, or of more than one dozen bananas. The method in which we first find the value of one unit and then with the help of this, we find the value of any number of units is called the unitary method. Let us understand this with an example. Raju has fenced his house with three full rounds of fencing. It cost him rupees 9072. If he wants to build a fence with five rounds, how much is it going to cost him? Can it be calculated? Think for a while. Let me tell you, the easiest way would be to find the value of one round of fence first and then using that value, calculate the value of five rounds of fence. Now, the question is how to find the value of one round of fence. Think for a while. Let me tell you, total cost of three complete rounds of fence is rupees 9072. Similarly, total cost of one complete round of fence is equal to 9072 divided by 3, which is equal to 3024. Thus, total cost of five complete rounds of fence is equal to 5 into 3024, which is equal to rupees 15,120. Here, using unitary method, we get the total cost of five complete rounds of fence. Remember, that if we are given the cost of more than one object, then dividing the cost with the number of objects would result in the cost of one object. Then, the outcome is multiplied with the number of objects to get the cost of as many objects as wanted. Let us understand it with some more examples. When you go to a shop, the shopkeeper tells you the cost of an object. On the basis of this, Depending on how many objects you want to buy, you can find out the cost of the total number of objects. Here, you are using the unitary method. When you go to buy vegetables, the shopkeeper tells you the cost of 1 kg of vegetables. On the basis of this, you find the cost of 250 grams, half a kg, 1.5 kgs and 2 kgs or as much as you want. Here also, you use the unitary method. Similarly, for the following situations also, you will use the unitary method. Drivers find out the mileage of their vehicle based on distance travelled in 1 litre of petrol. Based on this, they find out the amount of petrol that is required to cover the desired distance. Depending on the number of units a company makes in one day, one can calculate the total number of its produce in a month or a year. Try to recall five such situations where you would use the unitary method. Today, we have learned about unitary method. In the next video, we will learn about it with some more examples.